Hey guys, this is the Skill Badass and I wanted to make a quick video that I am going to put up tomorrow because it is getting late here and I need to get some sleep. But this is uh, a new thing I want to start on my channel where I, every movie I go see this year because this is the year that's excited me with the most amazing movies that are coming out. So I want to talk about each and every one of them I see, uh, the good, the bad, the flaws and my review practically of every movie I see this year. So. I just literally got back from the cinema, so I'm really tired, I need to get some sleep. But the movie I saw today that I want to talk about is Alita Battle Angel. First of all, let me say, holy shit. This movie was a masterpiece. Every single part of this movie was so epic and so well done, and I loved every moment of it. Not to mention, I saw it in 3D, so that was even better. The, the movie just blew my mind from beginning to right to the end, well not the very end, but right to the near end, was fan friggin -tastic. I loved every second of it, Alita was such a badass, and her scenes were just so, so filled with so much epicness and just amazing, I, I can't even begin to describe the movie, dare I say it's probably the best movie I've seen so far in 2019. Actually, I think it's the only movie I've seen in 2019, but I dare I say that this movie is going to be a big one in the box office. It's going to be amazing. Now, with every movie has its flaw. So I want to talk about the thing I found really disappointing with Alita. And as much as it pains me to say it, because it was a movie that I thoroughly enjoyed and I was so into it. The thing that I hated about Alita was the ending. Now, I'm not going to spoil anything for you guys in case you guys haven't seen it, but I'm going to tell you about what happened in the ending, which won't really reveal anything, but... The way it ended was so abrupt, just like that, came out of nowhere. With movies, you usually know when it's going to end. Either there's some great music, or the people get reconciled, or someone saves the day. But with a leader, it seemed like there was going to be so much more to it, and then bam, ended. A leader battle angel credits roll, get out of the cinema, go watch something else. So, uh, I was really disappointed with that, because as soon as it ended, I thought, wait, that's it? Are you kidding me? I thought there was going to be so much more to this, like... And that's how it ended? Are you kidding? Now, I get why it ended that way, and I get why they left it wide open, because I have known for a while that they're going to be making a sequel, uh, probably next year or the year after, or the year after that, but they are going to be making a sequel. I've heard on the internet about plans to make a sequel and what they have in store, but this movie was amazing, but I want to talk more about the ending. So, I'm not going to spoil anything, but in the ending... Alita, there was this thing called, there was, I, don't, I can't remember what it was called because I have such a bad memory, but it was practically cyborg racing. So if you think about the movie Death Race with Jason Statham, instead of cars going around trying to kill you to get to the prize, it's cyborgs trying to kill you to get to the prize. Now Alita was in that, there was a little bit of a difference because they were trying to kill Alita because they're bounty hunters, but in that scene, she, she won, she defeated them all. And then in the end, she had to go to the championships because she was really good at it, at the cyborg racing, uh, motor something. I'm so bad at remembering shit. Uh, so she was really good at uh, racing and winning. So she decided to do it again in the championships, which was like the big leagues. So she, she got herself done up. She got her outfit on to go and out and do it. And previously in the movie, she had acquired a really powerful sword from Ed Screen's character. So which he did a really amazing job as well. Good job, Ed Screen. Um, she acquired a very powerful sword. So she, she went out into the crowd. They were all cheering for her. She was just about to go into the championship. She held the sword up to the crowd. They all cheered, and then it showed her looking up, and then it just ended like that. And I thought, wait, I thought they were going to show you something like her going into the championships and winning again or going against the big bad Nova, but no, it just ended so abruptly, just like that. And I felt like it was such a short movie, like, I know it probably wasn't, because I, I usually just think a lot of movies are short, but I feel like this movie could have gone on for longer, and they could have just explored it more, because I was so into the movie, I was so intrigued in it, I didn't want it to end, because I was right there with it, I loved every moment of it, but I'm not trying to shit on the movie, I thought it was an amazing masterpiece, James Cameron did an amazing job, and Rosa Salazar killed it as a leader, so... I'm not trying to be negative here, but the ending was just so disappointing, and I know why they ended it like that, because they had to leave it open for number two, but I just feel like I just didn't want it to end yet. I was like, oh, I really want more. I want more. I don't want it to end yet. I should still be there watching it, but it did end, and 
even though it ended like that, I was still satisfied with the movie. I still, th I still, th I, blah, blah, I still thought it was the masterpiece that I hoped it would be. I went into that movie with such high hopes, and it definitely delivered. Right from the start, it got me hooked. Rosa, you did an amazing job with the leader. You made a character that I could really connect with. I loved her personality and her badass. Um, her epicness, her her lines were just so funny and epic and her fighting skills were just so spectacular. I've never seen a movie like this and you killed it. And uh, thank you, James Cameron and all the directors and producers for making such a badass movie. I thought, dare I say, this is the best movie of 2019 already, even though it's probably the only movie I've seen so far. But I don't think anything's going to top this because this movie just left me with an amazing feeling of of proudness for the people that made this movie because I've been waiting for this movie for so long I've been like oh come on I wish I hope it would come out soon come on come on I want to wait I don't want to wait but then I saw it and it definitely delivered 10 out of 10 you all killed it the whole movie was amazing so I definitely urge you all to go watch it you will not be disappointed go see it at event cinemas because it's in 3d um and I, I hope the sequel comes out soon because I really want more Alita and I want to see what she gets up to and how she actually ends her story because the story hasn't ended yet she's still going to go on to be bigger and badder and probably the top dog of the town but i hope and i hope that they bring in a new love interest for her because of stuff that happened but um definitely go see the movie i thought it was epic uh alita was such a badass and i i've i've never loved a character more in a movie than her so definitely go see it you all will not be disappointed it's so worth it uh so that is my review of alita battle angel go watch this uh, video if you want to hear me uh talk about it and yeah, I'll be back soon with my Captain Marvel review. I think that's the next movie I'm going to go see, or a skate room. I think I'm just going to wait for Captain Marvel, because I want to take a break from a f uh, couple of movies at the moment, uh, since my games are coming out soon. So definitely go see this movie. Did not disappoint. Epic. Amazing. It's a true masterpiece, uh, especially if you like futuristic movies, which I do. So see you all later. Come back soon for my next video, and I'll see you all in the future. Bye.